Alright guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at how to use CorelDRAW to perform tasks in NECO data processing practical. So before we go to the question, let me quickly launch the CorelDRAW. So as usual, you can launch the CorelDRAW by using the start button or by just uh, typing, uh, searching it on the search engine here. Or you can also use your window key on your keyboard to start it. So let me just search for CorelDRAW here. So when you search this this way, it's going to appear here or here. So you can click it from any of them and allow it to come up. Okay, so this is where we have here we are on the color draw. Now this color draw is the latest version. So I can click on the new tab here. Normally, if you open the color draw, it could just take you to the work space but you can for this is a new one so you just click on new document and you have various type of uh, uh orientation that you have here so this one is type blog so i think i'm going to take the one for letter so i'm going to take the one for letter you can uh, give it a title here if you want to so i'll just click ok here so that will take me to the workspace yeah this is the printable uh, page if you want to uh, print out whatever you are doing Okay, so now let's uh, move on. So here you have the toolbars. So we have different tools here that you can use, and uh, you have the the other menus on top here. So we're going to be making use of them depending on the question they ask us. Okay, so let's go to the question. So the first question is that at the top of your workspace, type your first name and surname, format it to font size twenty, and uh, 20 points and area black type of font. We are going to bold it and centralize it. So let's go to there and see how we do that. So I'm going to pick the first two tool and click it here. So I'm going to type it on our caps. I put on my caps law. So I'll type any name. Let's say Sunday. John is my name. So I'm going to you can select it. Which of mouse then come to this place. This is where you change your the test, you change the test to the test style. So, okay, so we have area here. So, I'm going to change it to area black. So, you can just click on this. Then, I'll, you can search through this box. You can just come to this place and hit space and type B A B L A C K. So, if black will just come out and you just click on it. So, you have that. Okay, then you can change the point. So we have two to change the point to 20 points. So there is no 20 points. So we just need to come to this place, delete that, and type 20. Here, then hit the enter button. Okay, we are supposed to also select bold here. It, has, it is already in bold as I selected it. But you can try that out when it was in area. Let me change it back to area. So hit enter. Okay, it's in area. So you can see that the bold is highlighted. So you click on bold. That will make it bold. But when you click on in your blood, it automatically enters what? Bold mode. So I'm going to put BL. Okay, got this on there. So I'm going to put that. Okay, I already have it at black, so I'll just click on it. So that's in my, my area black. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the center of this. So on 20 points, that's that. Okay, so you can click the to uh, shape to so you can click the pick tool when you point on it like this going to show you the name of the tool so you click on it to select the the object that you or the test that you have just typed okay so let's go to the next question okay next draw a perfect circle of diameter 8 cm and set the thickness to four points Okay, so we're going to draw a circle of diameter 8 cm. So we are here. So I'm going to I use the circle tool. So I'm going to click on it and draw a circle. Okay, the diameter should be there. So let me select that and click outside. Now you see that these are in inches. So I have to change this to centimeters. So you come to the, these are the units that I use. So come to this place and click on the unit to become centimeters. Okay. 
So I'll click on this. So the units are on centimeters. So I'll just come to this place and delete this and type it there. Then I'll still go down to this place, delete it, and type it. Then hit enter button. So that's my yes. Then we have to give to give it. So from here we can select the line, type of border line or line style. So you can see that. So leave it on this. Then we can get the thickness from here. So we are going to give it thickness of four. Okay. So that that for that. So let's go back to the question and see what they ask us to do again. Okay. Now we have to inscribe another circle in the first circle in three a two with diameter of. 5.5 cm and we are going to set the thickness to two points okay so to draw another circle just click on this one hold your con control key then drag it then click on right click on your mouse so you duplicate that so the next you have to do is just to come to this place and change it to 5.5 and change the other one the vertical distance to 5.5 hit enter so you have done that so you carry it and put it at the center of this then the next chapter is to change the points to 2 okay so if you don't want to draw the circle like that you can also come here and draw and start to draw again then pick your can change the size from this place okay okay so now let's go to the next question Okay, next we have to select the outer circle and apply any sh color shade of your choice. Then I have select the inner circle and give it a white background. So we are going to select any color for this and give this a white background. Okay, so let's answer four and five together at once. So let's give this a color. So you click on the circle here, the outer circle. Then come to this place and choose any color of your choice and let's click on it. And you find out that the line color is also remains uh, dark. To make the light color to become blue, you now right click on it. So that's that. Then for the inner one, we have to give it a, a white color. So just right left click on it to fill it. Then right click again to give it a light color. So that's that. We have answered the others and the uh, two following questions. And next, let's look at the next question. Okay, next, you have to type the test. Welcome to enter your son name. Family has e.g. So this is exactly what they want us to type. Welcome to Baba Sola Family House. So my own son name is Sunday. I'm going to write Welcome to Sunday Family House. So that's what I'm going to type there. So let's watch that. Work that out. So here we are. I'm going to pick the test too. Okay. And I'm going to type here Welcome to Sunday House. Okay, let me see if they ask us to give it any format. Okay, we are to change the typeface, the font type to area black, and we're also going to change the font size to 22 points. Then after that, we we'll fit the test first type to the part between the inner circle and the outer work circle. So we're going to answer these three together at once. So we're going to take it to area black at 22 points, then we'll fit test to part. Okay, so let's give the test. So you can highlight it again. You can highlight it this way. You just come here and pick the pick to to select it like this. So you come to this place and click type area black. Then hit the enter button. Okay. So you come to this place. Click this place. You already have area black here. So you click on it. Okay. We have to take the point to 22 points. So come to this place. You either come to this place and select 22. There is no 22 here, so you just come to this place and type it 22, then hit the enter button. So that's 22. So you come to this place, take the test here to fit the test to part now. So I've formatted the test now. So hold your hold down your sheet key and select wherever you want to fit that test. So just select it like this, then go to test here. So when you go to test and click on it, you're going to see fit test to part. So click on that. So you can, so you can see it here. So you can you can move the test wherever you like and move it down you can turn it you can twist it you can rotate it with your mouse okay so you see you can rotate it you can turn it to wherever you want 
okay so this is what i have done so i have fit that test to what part okay now we are not asked to give it a color so i'll leave it that way as only we are asked to give it a color you are going to test the color before you fit it to what part that will be fit the test to what part so let me see you can highlight this way and move it upward so that's how to highlight to so highlight everything you just click outside and drag through so you'll be able to highlight everything okay next let's look at the next question okay now we have to import any animated picture from my pictures folder of your computer and power clip to fit into the inner circle save and print the hard copy in portrait orientation okay so let's go back to that in fact we are already in portrait orientation if you want to make it a uh, landscape you have clicked this so this gives you a landscape okay so this is portrait and this is what landscape so you can just we have to print it out in portrait so let us import an image so there are different ways you can import an image you may already have that image saved on on a folder anywhere now i think i have an image saved at um at my desktop so i'll just go to that place so this is import so you see i first of all click on file and i click on what import okay so i think i have a folder here okay so i have uh, see pictures in my picture so you can see picture if it's not like that let's say for example it is on this point so you have to go to pictures you have to note where you save that picture okay so i click on picture this is where i save the picture i'll click on it so it's outside so i'll just click on it like this and click on what import then i'll come to this place and click so this is the image that i want to put in so i'll put it at the middle here okay now we are asked to save now another way you can also um import your picture is by copying directly so let me show you this okay so i may already have the picture in in a paint program so i'll just all I have to do just to select the picture from paint okay just highlight it and copy it from paint okay so i'll use ctrl c to copy it and i'll go to back to my color draw and i'm going to pre press ctrl v so you see that i already have it here copy it here so you can increase this way so every way you can import directly from here and you can also copy from any other applications where you have that feature okay so let's print this now to print this you go to file you click on print you can even see print producer to preview what you want to print so you click on print preview so this is my print preview so you can see this is way, the way it's going to be okay so if i come to this place and close your print word if you okay so you close it then you go back to file and uh, print so to print that go to bring uh, bring out the print dialog box here i do not have a printer but from there you can select your printer whatever from any whatever you want it from so just select from here but i do not have a printer so i'm going to print it save it to as pdf so i'll click on this then i'll click on what print so because i'm saving it it's going to be saved on the pictures folder so let me just save my approach so i'll save it any name and i'll click on what save okay so that's about all on how to perform this now the question your questions will not be exactly the same but these are the basic things that you need to do based on the past question that we have seen so far okay so let me just run through this now if you point to this you see that this is a crop tool it's crop tool it helps you to crop this is the zoom tool okay now if when you point this is the free hand tool when you point to it like this it's going to show you what it is this arrow shows that there are other hidden items in this so you can see crop knife features and the eraser is also there now you can see this too smooth so this is shape tool and all of that tools there now this gives you a rectangle this gives you a circle and ellipse this gives you polygons test and so on and so for eye drop uh, color eye dropper so this one is for eye dropper and this one is for what interactive word field or smart field or mesh word field they all used to fit so these are now on this side is the color palette so this is where you choose your colors from okay 
to pick a color to fill the right click, sorry, you left click, and to fit, I pick a color to fill the outline, you want right click. So these are the basic things that you need to know about using color drawing preparation for your uh, micro particle data processing. Okay, so if you really enjoyed this video, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also like and share this video. Your comments will be highly appreciated. Thank you very much. See you next time.